was quite the exciting moment uh, when your wife yeah. and son came out. Yeah, I think um, I think my wife and son's surprise probably over, over you know shattered the, the power of the performance there. Um, yeah, I, what can I say? They got me good. So you had absolutely no idea. Not one single clue. And the comedy of it was afterwards when I was walking backstage and all, all the staff were there and there's a lot of people. Everybody knew. I mean, everybody. And I'm like, how did you possibly all know that and keep it from me all day? But they did. Great job. They were all jumping around for joy. Yeah, we did it. We did it. He didn't know. So, so are you going to get to spend some time together now, or did they uh, usher her off? No. Uh, they're actually here. They're here. They're actually they were just standing there a second ago. Um, so they're kind of watching me work, I suppose. Um, but no, I'll get to spend some time with them. We'll get to hopefully have dinner. And they've only had like two hours sleep. So they're going to be crashed out real soon, um, and they get to watch tomorrow night. And hopefully, hopefully they go home alone, and I'm not flying home with them. Um, and so I heard you guys all had Thanksgiving together. How was that? We did. Um, all the contestants uh, were over at one of the producers' house. It was actually it was really enjoyable. It was nice for us to get out of the, the setting and the pressure of the show, and actually all just relax for a minute. And we all enjoy each other's company. We really do. I mean, I don't know what it's like for other people on on the other seasons, but you know this bunch. I really got them. So. And uh, has it changed the group dynamics since Sylvia and Brian left? Yeah. It's. I mean. I think we actually talked about it ourselves uh, yesterday. We were just having a conversation about it. You really feel the gap when it appears. When they left, it, you know, it felt hollow. You know, and it gets tougher the further on you go. The, the stakes are up, and, and they're good people. You miss them. They're good friends, and you've gone through a lot together, and you enjoy their company. So when they disappear, it's, it's tough. Has there been any song that you've had to perform on the show where you've gotten the name of it, and you're like, oh, do I have to? No, I, I've got to say actually, um, I, I've been yeah. fortunate in that regard. I don't think there's anything I've sang which I haven't really enjoyed. And when we got close to it, there was um, a couple of choices on the table before that we settled on this one. Uh, me and Blake had kind of settled on, it was a midnight phone call and we settled on a track. And I, we slept on it and I woke up and I was like, no, I'm not feeling it. And I was, I was thinking, I don't know how I'm, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this one. And then I said, you know, I've got a song, I don't know if, what you think about it. And I listened to the song over and I was like, that's it. That's the one I want. That's Can you tell it. us what the other one was? Uh, no, because I might end up singing it. Never <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> you never know. I'd, 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 it would be just my luck. So, so we're going to do this one next week. But no, I think I if, if I get through, I've got something in mind. Yeah, and having had a discussion with, uh, with some of the producers, um, I think I'm going to get to do it. So if I get through, I am genuinely over the moon about what I'll sing next week. And Blake you know, mentioned several times that you know tonight's performance that it was a country song. Yeah. It definitely didn't feel country. Is that when you approached it, were you doing, you know, did you want to put your own spin on it or were you trying to keep a country vibe? Well, when we were actually doing rehearsals, um, I think I was very conscious of the fact it was Blake's song and if anything I was probably pandering to that a little bit too much and I was fine with that, I was getting into it but you know, I discussed it and they said, you know, we want to hear you. You know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the Blake aspect. Just put in the Terry aspect. And to be given that kind of freedom is is very flattering, first of all. And it says a lot about Blake's humility. That I don't he was know. just like, no, oh, go on now. I want you to tear up my version and, and make it into something else. Um, but it's, it does speak volumes about the quality of the song because a very well written song. You can play it acoustic. You can play it with an orchestra. You can play it in country. You can play it in rock, and it's still a great song. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't notable that you know it feels like it should be country. That's, it just felt like. A, that's right. It's just it's a great song. It's just a different presentation of it. So I, I am just honoured that I got to, to give one.